what's up guys thanks for watching this video uh, i'm gonna guide you to through the steps of another uh, sorry uh lifting uh, res uh lifting lifting uh, relay uh tile some people call it lifting relay that's usually when you go to the city and you want to apply for a roofing yeah, permit, you're going to tell them, hey, I want to do a lifting relay of the existing tiles, so that way they know, that's how they, that's why they understand. Or you can call it a tile reset, or you can call it a tile relay, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But the main thing, the main thing is that uh, you're going to save the existing tiles and replace the underlayment, replace all the damaged wood, and relay the same tiles and you're gonna replace all the broken tiles all damaged tiles you're gonna replace the rich board you're gonna replace the hip board you're gonna replace some fascia board that is damaged because you're not gonna touch the roof in the next 50 years or 60 years so it's a 50 year investment okay when you're doing a tile relay tile reset replacing the old underlayment remember it's a 50 year investment so you gotta tell your roofer to replace all the fucking damaged wood, okay? Make sure that you check all the damaged wood. Make sure that you, the homeowner, you are the inspector. Don't let the stupid inspector from the city come into and approve them, you know, for some half ass uh, job that they do. Some roofer, they just fly to the roof and they leave a lot of uh, damaged wood on top of the roof and then i've been through a lot of work you know where roofers they install a new roof over uh, a brand new roof they remove everything but they don't replace the damaged wood a lot of roofers they don't like to replace damaged wood because they think they're not making any money so before you let them install the tiles make sure you go up on the roof or you hire somebody that knows you know another roofer pay him pay him a couple hundred dollars 300 okay okay before you replace the damaged wood make sure that you uh leave the uh, the burst stop in place the existing burst stop so you know where uh, each tile is gonna go back in place okay you have to do that okay because if you don't do that then you're gonna have a you're gonna waste a lot of tile bro a lot of them okay that way the first course is gonna guide you how your other tiles are gonna go because remember, you're using the same tile, okay? Make sure you don't cut corners, okay? Replace all the damaged wood, okay? Replace it. I know you don't make any money. I know you're not making the money that you want by replacing wood. But it's your job, okay? It's going to get you a lot of more referrals. It's going to get you more people into, into your company, you know? Because, you know, because you're taking care of the customer, you know? It's not that you can... Sometimes you can, I come across... A house that you know where I have to replace a lot of fucking wood. And if, honestly, I don't make money. I don't make the money that I want to make. But you know, but when I leave the house, I go with, uh, I live with, uh, uh, how do you call that? With that, uh, with that uh, uh, feeling, you know, that I did the right thing. I did the right job. And I did it the way I wanted to do it. You know, sometimes it's not about making money. Sometimes it's about making more customers, you know. Uh, bringing some customers to your business and that's gonna keep you busy okay if you follow my instructions you're never gonna be out of work okay i've been out of work since 2010 after the economy drop after i went back on my feet on 2009 and 10 and then since then i haven't stopped on 2008 i have to go back to a company and uh, i worked there for a while and uh, once I got a little bit of cash more, and then I went back and, and do it again. And here I am, okay? Uh, behind the fireplace, I, I installed a, a torch down, uh, torch down uh, system. And I replaced all the rich pore, replaced all the damaged wood, installed one layer of self adhere underlayment. By meeting self adhere, uh, the self adhere is called tile secure. But I didn't remove the plastic in the back of the uh, the back of the roll, okay? Because I didn't want the the felt, I mean the paper, the underlayment to stick to the to the uh, to the ex exposed wood, okay? So I don't want to seal the house completely, and then having to install uh, thousands of uh, 
uh, roof vents through the house so to avoid the uh, you know to avoid the uh, uh, the overheating inside the attic when you seal the house completely you're gonna have to install a lot of vents bro so don't do that okay please leave the uh leave the uh the plastic uh underneath the uh, on the other side of the peeling stick you know on the side that peels and seals uh leave the plastic just nail it as a you nail it a, a um, felt underlayment and that's gonna do the work okay the overlap is gonna allow the the house to breathe you know to uh to breathe underneath the membrane okay? also when you're doing your uh, motor right here i'm showing you how i do it somebody stole my trowel so i have to cut a piece of uh metal and uh, make my own trowel but as a mexican you know how we do it so in mexico we use a lot of fancy stuff like we do here in the u.s so we managed to get it done with uh with just uh, our own invention so i make my own trowel from a piece of metal and make it work shape it to the shape of the tile and uh, it worked okay make sure that you use your um when you're applying your motor you know on the ridge make sure that you uh make a 45 uh 45 angle shape on the motor so that way the water runs down the way it's supposed to and make sure that you cover properly the last nail on the ridge top on the other side this is the uh this i'm installing the motor i'm applying the motor underneath the um roof to wall this metal that is stuck is, is is attached to the wall and goes on top of the tile it's called roof to wall okay roof to wall okay i do the same thing but before i apply the uh, motor i fill up the gap you know the the hole with uh, broken tiles so that way i use less uh, cement okay uh, i over spread some of the motor on top of the existing uh, painted metal but that's not a problem I can just go back and touch it up when I get done. Okay, the main thing is that you cover, that you make sure that the, the cement covers completely, you know, the, the gap. So the water is not allowed to go inside and leak on the inside of the house. Okay. So what else can I teach you on this thing? No, no one, I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a mentor or, or whatsoever. I'm just uh, uploading this video to show you the way I do it. And the way I do it, you know, it's been working for me for years. I don't have any water leaks on my roof because I already went through that. Back in the days when I started doing my own roofs, I had a bunch of water leaks because people just come and do their day and they're careless. So so right now, if I don't supervise a job, I don't, I don't get it because honestly, it's a, you're offering a, you're offering a service and since you're offering a service, you're you're liable for that service. So if you send somebody that tells you, hey, I know how to roof, I have so, ma so many years of experience. It happened to me in the past. I heard people that say, oh, I've been on the roof for 30 years. And when I send them up on the roof, they do half fast jobs. And at the end, I get stuck with the repairs. And I can fix it. That's not a problem. But it's embarrassing for you as a roofer to go back and fix one of your fucking new installation, new roof. I mean, that's really, that's, that's, that's embarrassing. So I'm trying to avoid all that. I mean, I'm going to have the little, uh, probably I'm going to have a, a probably mistake out of a hundred roofs I do, probably one of them. I'm going to have a little, not a, not say a water leak, but something the customer doesn't like is going to make me go back and say, I don't like this. Can you please fix it? I go back and, uh, I don't argue with the customer, okay? I don't argue, charge, I don't charge him anymore. I just, because it's my responsibility. So if you're offering a service, you gotta make sure that you back up what you offer, okay? If you're gonna send a bunch of uh, guys out there that they don't know what they're doing, then you're gonna be liable for what they do, okay? So don't blame the, um, the employees for all the fuck ups that you have in your case. Your, your, it's your responsibility as, as the boss, you know, to hire the right people. Okay, um, when you when you do the um, the reach uh, on the hips, the ones that goes down on angle is called hip. Okay, hip, H, H, I, P. Okay, hip, 
like a hip, okay? You don't have to install, uh, you don't have to apply a uh, roof cement or, or caulking because it goes in an angle. And this tile, it weighs about 10 pounds per, per tile. So oh, it's been like this for years and it never, the wind never blew off the, the hip tiles, the, the hip cup. So I don't have to use uh, uh, glue or roof cement. I only use it on the ridge. And also to finish the to finish the union between the joint between the ridge and the um and the hips uh, use a motor cap it's called motor so you have to top it up with uh, you have to finish it up with the motor and then you have to uh, you have to leave it you have to do it like that uh, you can paint it if you want to but you don't have to sometimes you know it's better just to leave it like natural. Usually the motor is gray, so the tile is almost gray, so it's gonna blend in. It's gonna stand out for like a couple of years, but later on the dust and the sun and everything else is gonna fade it. And it's gonna get gray, so it don't matter. Uh, after finishing all the ridge cap, I'm going to, uh, on this side I installed the uh, new tiles. I hide them in the back, I usually hide them in the back. And in the front, I usually use the uh, old tiles, so that way nobody knows that uh, I use uh, new tiles in the back. Uh, I went to the uh, plant and got new tiles and installed them in the back. And uh, this is the way I did it. Uh, these are right here, a new, a new ridge cap too right here. Right here I installed new tiles too. And I installed uh, new hanging vents throughout the uh, entire roof because it didn't have no haggins. Back in the day, they didn't use that many uh, vents. They weren't very con like con concerned about the the heat inside the attic. So, uh, so builders, they didn't care. So they just build it, whatever, you know. Right now, you know, they're more concerned Anything about- Anything you wanna say about me? The... You like it? Easy communication. Yeah, what else? It goes well, pretty fast. Job? Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Give me some business card. I will. I will. Ya quebraste dos vale. Here's the phone morning. I was talking to him, asking him what he thinks about my work. He was supervising my work throughout all the entire process. And sometimes he has some questions, so I have to be there to answer him and tell him what's the best thing for his roof. I gave him two years warranty on this roof, and but the roof is going to last at least 50 years warrant, uh, 50 years with the new underlayment. What really matters here is not the tile, is the underlayment, because they can break all the tiles, but still he's not gonna have a single drop of water inside his ceiling. That's what I told him, hey, uh, worry about the underlayment. Who cares about the tile, you know? People break tile all the time. Somebody's gonna go up on the roof, paint your house, and he's gonna break all the tiles. 